the Galactic Free Press update. Planetary upgrade in process. Bringing humanity home. Energy and event update. Greetings, love beings. At the beginning of the month, we announced we would have massive energetic movement, and we have not been let down. From earthquakes to an asteroid, to a significant meteor hitting the planet, to the Pope resigning, and so much more. We are experiencing event after event, and we have really only just begun. We are moving so quickly, and events will continue rolling out as the energies push forward in intensity. For those who are still in process of releasing the denser energies, you may be experiencing extreme tiredness as a part of the cleansing required in this energy upgrade, while others will feel extra energy. The meteor and the asteroid, coupled with the new Earth energies, gave the planet and everyone on the planet an upgrade. These energetic upgrades will continue all throughout 2013 until the planet is completely immersed in the 5D frequencies of love everywhere present. Up and up we go and everyone on the planet comes home. Quoted from Gillian Macbeth Luthen. As you can tell, something has changed and we all feel it. I felt the energy of the asteroid as an eye in the sky, not a human eye, but something just watching and taking notes. It felt living as a turtle within a shell, head tucked deep looking like just a rock. I've had some very unusual dreams as this space rock has moved past. Our gravitational presence has been changed forever. We have been escorted into a higher ring of the Fibonacci spiral. What can we do? Well, considering we are on the most intense of a roller coaster ride, all we can do is be divinely human and keep an eye out. It is said that new life springs forth from meteors, bringing more stellar DNA to grind into our soul and soil. There are no accidents in the universal scheme of things. End of quote. Quoted from Mark Barox. The much predicted winter solstice of 2012 has come and gone. And in spirit circles around the planet, people are asking themselves, what, if anything, has changed? On the surface, most things appear to be the same. Earth still turns around its axis and around the sun. The stars still sweep across the night sky. Rain falls, rivers run, and life goes on. But beneath the appearance of things, a new feeling is in the air, and new energies rise. The world is humming with possibility. Change is imminent. A new year is upon us, and a new world is thrumming beneath the surface of the old. The task this year is to love the hell out of yourself, to turn the truth of your inner, innermost heart into the beacon of light you steer by, to rise up from the chaos of a dying world, peel off the old skin, and at long last discover what you're made of. Right livelihood means you're here to do so much more than pay the bills, and that no barrier can block the unleashed creative dream of your soul. For when the world serpent opens her inner eyes, time and space part, and all things reveal their essence. End of quote. Gaia Portal Update Blurring of visions may be common on all Gaia surface beings at this time.
We speak of 3D eye vision as well as higher visions via third, fourth, and fifth eyes. This results from the shifting in Gaia plates as well as movement of sacred portal sites. This process is necessary in order to optimize Gaia energetics to a unified beingness. This same process occurs in individual human, small h, units, and particularly in the more conscious human units. Gaia illumination increases as alignment progresses, and although a precise time frame cannot be given, we sense this alignment to encompass one to two months. However, we add that recent accelerations and awakenings at all levels would imply that this time period may well be much shorter. Flowing with this blurring of visions allows awakening to veiled higher messages for all humanity, particularly the more awake humanity. End of quote. Two thousand thirteen is a pivotal year for this planet. When we began this year, we shared this would be the beginning of the first stages of the manifestation of the new Earth equal heart, and we have now begun in earnest. Many have been speaking of February being significant, and it has already shown us this. Some are sharing now that there was another prophecy the Mayans gave in regards to February. The only information we have received so far is that February was going to be a big energetic month with lots of events and movement. And it's already proven this truth. At this point in the energies, anything can happen and quickly. The Earth allies continue to hold the space of of the higher grid on the planet and are ready for a planetary wide awakening which is the highest and best solution on this planet right now. This year is all about unity and the energies are moving quickly towards this destiny. Quoted from Simone M. Matthews The year 2013 or 2013, is a pivotal point in our evolutionary awakening as we take our first energy shift steps into the Golden Age. As Yucatec Maya Elder Hunbun's man comments. According to the prophecies, in the year 2013, the first stage of higher understanding will begin. If we are willing to work with our subconscious, we will then be able to reclaim the information that has been impregnated in the deepest parts of our being. In this way, the ancient knowledge will rise again. Now that we have entered 2013, we have the potential to take the wisdom from the old cycle, our collective galactic evolutionary experiences, and begin a new cycle of heart-centered consciousness. Another way of saying this, we have the potential to transcend the pain of the perceived separation through the experience of having a physical body, which is the number 20, and truly live a spiritual life as is encoded within our DNA, the expression of spirit through us, which is the number 13. The year 2013 is about fully celebrating the joy of allowing your physical body, the number 20, to be full of light and love, the number 13, and hence be an active pioneer of a new humanity through the heart. The 21st and the 22nd of February 2013 is prophesied as marking the beginnings of a whole new cycle of our cosmic evolution. But let's look at the lead up to this date to get a better understanding of what this means. Firstly, on the 15th and 16th of February 2013, asteroid 2012 DA14 
newly discovered on the 23rd of February of 2012, makes a very close passage to Earth, transiting approximately 27,700 kilometers from the Earth's surface, closer than many of our satellites in orbit. The asteroid energetically is like a pea stuff or olive branch, gently stimulating our pineal glands and awakening our conscious awareness to the love of all creation that exists within us. You may experience light bulb moments or dreams and visions of potentials beyond your perceived limitations. Take note of your experiences as they are messages from your higher self regarding your journey this year. On the 18th and 19th of February 2013, the Earth and Sun come into alignment with Syngas X3, a most powerful source of X-rays, gamma sores, and ultra-high energy cosmic rays within our galaxy. Cygnus X3 is a microquasar within the Swan constellation known as the Northern Cross and represents the World Tree of Life in the Mayan culture. As stated in Drum Below Melchizedek's book Serpent of Light Beyond 2012, February 19th represents the beginning of a new cycle and a new world. Entire Entire heavens would be opened up, free to explore our natural environment of space, time, and dimension beyond the earth, which is the Guatemalan Mayan prophecy. Interestingly as well, the 18th and the 19th of February 2013 marks 260 days since the transit of Venus across the path of the sun that took place on the 5th and 6th of June 2012. Then, as stated in the Holistic Book of Knowledge by Dr. Jose Jaramillo, three days of darkness will follow the Cygnus X3 alignment, and on the 21st, 22nd of February, a new humanity will be brought into existence. It's as if conception took place during the passage of Venus on the 5th and 6th of June of 2012, followed by a gestational period some 260 days later with contractions and later the movement down the birth canal. The electromagnetic properties of the asteroid 2012 DA14 and Cygnus X3. For then, humanity to be birthed on the 21st and the 22nd of February, 2013. The 23rd of February then marks the first full day of enlightened beingness for all of mankind. In numerology, this date adds up to the number 13, the expression of spirit through all of creation. The above dates and the corresponding prophecies with the astrological alignments give amazing insight for humanity, as Earth and all her life forms will be showered in high-frequency cosmic, gamma, and powerful X-rays during this time frame. As our auric fields, <clears throat> right down to the trillions of cells, within our bodies are being bathed in these electromagnetic frequencies. Our DNA is awakening to an evolved state of beingness in order to help us anchor the fifth dimensional light within our physical bodies. In addition, these electromagnetic frequencies are pulsating the toroidal field of energy that surrounds our heart, helping us to beat our hearts in unison with the earth, in unison with one another, and in unison with creation. Through the one heart, we move beyond the limitation of our per perceived separateness, and we embrace the love, the joy, the beauty of a one humanity evolving into an enlightened new planet.
During the last 13,000 year crossing, we were in the age of Leo. And through the solar plexus embellishment of the ego, we experienced the sinking of Atlantis. Now as we enter the 13,000 year midpoint once again, in 2013 and the age of Aquarius, we are acknowledging the serpent or the snake within each and every one of us through the heart. We are awakening and being empowered by the truth of oneness. What is interesting in 2013 is that in Chinese astrology we are entering the year of the yin water snake. This year through the power of the number 13 humanity is awakening to the sensuality and the powerful creativity of the divine feminine from within. The snake representing rising kundalini and transformation the number 13 expressed through the 13 feminine moon cycles of menstruation within a solar year and the element of water creates a flow a fluid rippling of the creative feminine and mystical energy through the hearts of humanity an awakening to the divine feminine from within thus as we come to the end of 2013 from within our hearts we are bringing harmony balance and divine union of the masculine and the feminine it is from this place that we co-create the utopia that is the golden age in summary as the Maya elder Hunbunt's men has spoken it is funny humanity as a whole feels that we have no impact on this reality. How can we believe so little of ourselves that we feel we are just blowing in the wind as if by accident, just witnessing or being a victim of this reality? The big issues we face today on Mother Earth are directly related to our lack of self-esteem and unworthiness. Isn't it funny? that if we cleared up all of our old self-esteem issues and understood that we were completely worthy of everything that we could actually save this planet think about it we need to realize honor and respect our creative force and realize that we are creators we hold this reality together we are the keepers of the earth when we truly honor ourselves and our awesome creative power, we will again live in a sacred way where we honor all life. When we honor all life, the essence and spirit of all living things will manifest. These words so eloquently summarize what the magic of 2013 is all about. As we walk over the threshold, and enter our first steps into the golden age. It is time to transcend the limited perception of our differences. Through our hearts, we are being called to weave the truth, the knowledge of our ancestors, the universal wisdoms of creation into the one cloth of unified love. All that you need is within you. The year 2013 is calling you to think through your heart. As this is the key to accessing the wisdom of our ancient ancestors, the wisdom of creation. Your heart unlocks this wisdom held deep within your DNA. Love yourself enough to unlock this truth within you and set yourself free. End of quote. Drumvelo also mentions the February 18th and 19th date as when a window of opportunity opens. He mentions the Mayans speaking of an energetic shift from the dominated male consciousness, which was based in the old paradigm of control and power over, to the female consciousness of power with, which brings in true communication, compassion, and balance into the planet. 
This energetically makes sense to usher in the golden age on planet Earth equal heart and for the manifestation of the new Earth. This does coincide with our history-breaking mass global meditation of over 1 billion people participating in 1 billion rising in honor of the feminine. We will begin to feel the effects from this event in the coming days and weeks and beyond. Quoted from Drumvelo We are about to enter into a window of time that has no name, but is inside of the Mayan end of time window that was connected to December 21st, 2012, and will end in about three years. This window begins on February 18th, 2013, and continues for about three and a half months until June 2nd, 2013. However, it could last for as long as the end of August if the circumstances change. I feel it is important to be aware of this significant period of time and what it could mean for you. There are three reasons why this window was created, so let me explain. First, the Mayans long ago predicted that if they had to choose the moment when the shift from male consciousness to female consciousness would begin, the shift into union and balance with the masculine and feminine energy, they would choose the dates of February 18th and 19th. I wrote about this long ago. They see it like a sunrise that gets brighter and brighter each day. At the same time, they said that they don't really know for certain, as it is Mother Earth, that will decide exactly when the Mayan prophecy will begin. What the Mayans have told me about the 18th of February, 2013, is that it is the moment when the energy within Mother Earth begins to flow in a new pattern. I doubt if you will feel this in your daily life, but the Mayans say it is a very important time in human history. Dear people, we are about to enter a time where you seriously need to be awake and, and aware and prepare for the inner and outer transformations that will change your lives forever. Please remember, if we successfully pass beyond the window of the great change, we are still in the timeline of the Mayan prophecy. Then we will enter in, into the change of order and harmony. End of quote. Regardless of a big shift occurrence, we really already are shifting on a daily basis. Some may be experiencing these shifts as high-pitched ringing in the ears, dizziness, zaps of energy as if plugged into a light bulb, soul excitement, pops in the ear as you are now receiving the higher informational downloads for the new Earth Equal Heart, and a sense of purpose to be of service to this planet. Quoted from Reverend Christine Mallorisi. Changes are resulting within your planet and around you for the explicit reason that it is time. The creation of your planet has become stable, whereas previously it was uncertain of the outcome of Gaia. But with the transition of more individuals awakening upon this planet, the residual effect of the transmutation has taken Gaia's world into a new existence where love and acceptance is the common rule and not the lower worlds that have resulted in your experiences of the past. It is now ta a time of complete reversal within your planet and we are excited to experience this with you. The changes that are about to occur must first be felt within your heart as all of our hearts are blending together. You see, in order for us to make the manifestation of the new world occur, we must honestly take a few moments with a breath of light and experience the essence of the purity of love to be within. As you move further into your acceptance, you will start to feel it. You see, you have just forgotten how to express it within you. 
You have a body, and that body has taken precedence over everything in your world. But that is no longer the case. You are learning to accept the light formations that are being transmitted to you in your sleep state, in your meditations, and even your awakened states of consciousness. It is coming in light codes to interwine with your physical reality. But you must take a moment and allow this essence to be fully within you as you walk through your days. Without it, it will be lost, and so will you. This is the power of the light at this time. End of quote. Whatever occurs in the next days, in the next weeks and months, the energy intensity we have entered and continue entering now each moment will inevitably bring us the changes this planet needs and has requested. This planet belongs to the givers and this planet will be returned to the givers. Decreed by heaven, the return of balanced harmonics to planet Earth equal heart has begun. All events within the, the light's divine plan and decrees will now manifest quicker in this planetary upgrade. This is the divine plan manifesting now on planet Earth equal heart. Thank you for spreading these messages to others and keeping your hearts open and staying tuned in. And transmission in all love is unconditionally. We are so in love with humanity. Love the Galactic Free Press staff, Humanity's Earth Allies, the Company of Heaven, and the First Contact Ground Crew Team. We love you. Mwah.